what's up my name is tech number here for troubleshoot and welcome back to another video in today's video i've got something incredibly exciting for you if you've been looking for something like this like i have truthfully i've never understood why people just can't copy say discord's technology to record audio from one program one game or something like that in say something like obs studio i even looked into it myself to see if i could figure out some way of doing it asked a couple of questions on stack overflow and things alike and I didn't really get anywhere other than sort of the general direction I had to go in. That being said, someone has finally stepped up with the know-how and actually made something that works. In the description down below, you'll find a link to a brand new OBS audio plugin called Win Capture Audio. This exciting plugin over here basically lets you record audio from independent applications without recording the entire system at once. So if you're someone like me, you probably have the next step up from just recording all of your audio into one track and you have your audio separated like this. I have my desktop audio currently playing music. Number two has Discord sounds going into it. And of course my microphone down here. When I go into my editing software, all three of these will be in separate channels and I'm able to remove or add to them as I like. Someone saying something rather bad, simply chop it out and I still have my game slash music. And of course my voice down here perfectly intact. I can mute one, not the others, etc., etc. This plugin over here basically lets you do something similar with your game capture audio. You can replace your entire desktop audio capture or whatever with recording just one specific application, though there's a lot of caveats that come with it, especially with something so new, as this project is only relatively new, 11 commits, with the first one being about six days ago, but the plugin does work. Here's a very simple explanation. Basically, everything's combined into your headphones and OBS records whatever your headphones are hearing. This program hooks into whatever game or application and records audio directly from it. Currently, it only supports WAS API audio, not to direct sound, wave out, etc. Different games and applications use different way of putting audio out into the system. And in something like editing software, such as Premiere Pro, etc., you can change the API that's used in order for you to actually hear what's going on. For specific games and applications, you're not able to choose how the audio is sent to your headphones other than the fact that it either is or isn't. This plugin only works with one of them currently, so it's not going to work for all applications and games off the bat. Without further ado, before I discuss any of the further limitations and what I highly suggest you do with this plugin, let's go ahead to actually installing this plugin. In the description down below, you'll find a link to Win Capture Audio on GitHub by BozBez. When you get to this page over here, all you have to do is click the releases button on the right hand side right up here then look for the latest release which should be at the very top hopefully there'll be a full release at the time of you watching and you'll see a green pill such as this but for now there's only pre-releases expand the assets section and then download either one of these down here you should be downloading the setup.exe unless you want to manually install through the zip now of course it's not commonly downloaded so you will need to ask your browser to keep it and hopefully at some stage in the future it is signed, etc, etc. The zip that you can download looks something like this. It has some stuff in the data folder over here. And if we head back, you'll see there's also an OBS plugins folder here. Pretty simple for manual installation. Though once again, I recommend you run the installer. So simply opening the installer, click your accept after reading through. Next, choose an install location which should match the current install location of OBS Studio. You can check that simply by opening up this folder here and making sure that OBS is installed here to begin with. After you're absolutely sure it's selected the correct OBS installation, hit next. And when you're prompted with something's installed already, hit yes once again, next, and finally install. When it's done, all you have to do is restart OBS Studio if you have it running. So that's exactly what I'll do now. Now OBS is simply restarted and I'm recording using another instance of OBS. Anyway, unimportant. All that we have to do is click add at the very bottom and you'll see a brand new option here, application audio output capture. Simply clicking this brings up a window like this and we'll call it say game audio just to keep things nice and simple. Then a big window like this will open up, which I'll shrink down and you'll see some options inside of it. We have capture mode, capture specific window or capture foreground window with hotkey, which when set up with a hotkey, when you're tabbed out, you can press it. It'll find whatever window you're tabbed into and immediately try to start recording that. Of course, for this current state, I'd recommend you keep it to capture specific window. That way you'll have to check inside of OBS to see if it's actually working or not. 
Then simply choose a window from down here. And for this example, I'll record Spotify and the song I'm currently listening to, which you can see over here as desktop audio. Now we have window match priority. You can leave this as is, unless you know, of course, that you have to change this because of the way that you record video. Maybe the window title changes and OBS has difficulty locating it. Anyway, all you need to do is make sure that use anti-cheat compatibility hook is checked. Finally, hook rate you should leave as normal unless you're experiencing issues. I wouldn't touch any of these other options here unless you know what you're doing. Just use mode and window if available. Anyways, now if we hit OK, you'll immediately see that I have desktop audio, which is all of the output from my computer and game audio down here. This is recording only one program. And as you can see, it's a hell of a lot louder than the actual output from my computer as it's recording at full volume. So immediately you can see that I have audio coming out in one location and another down here. My desktop audio is all of the sound outputted from my computer and game audio is only the sound coming out of my Spotify over here. And as you can see, my desktop audio is a lot quieter than the game audio down here, meaning that it's pulling it directly from that application. That's absolutely great. What I'm gonna do is turn down Spotify a hell of a lot so you can see it very quietly down here. Then I'm gonna go ahead and open up a YouTube video and listen to that on the side. This way you'll get a very good example of what exactly is going on. So I'll head across to my channel, play a simple video. And if I turn up the volume here, you can see my desktop audio has audio completely different to the game audio over here, which is the audio coming out of Spotify. If I were to record this top channel and the game audio channel down here, you'd hear everything in a huge mess in the desktop audio or output channel up here. And the game audio, of course, would just be the game you're recording. It's really that simple. Now to get on to a bit more of the interesting parts of this video. If you're going to use this, it's fine. I'd highly recommend you at least try it out for the game that you're gonna be using because it's not gonna work for every single game, but for those that it does work for, it's gonna help you a hell of a lot, especially if you only have one output device in your computer, unlike mine where I have two output devices that combine into one in a physical audio interface. Long story short, if I click the cog wheel over here, advanced audio properties, you can see a matrix of checkboxes on the right hand side. I'm recording everything into track one, then just my desktop audio into track two, just my Discord audio into three, just my microphone into four, and this brand new game audio one over here is recorded into all of them currently. Basically, I keep everything in track one checked, this way that when I go live on say Twitch, everything's stuck together nicely. But in my recordings, I only record track two, three, and four. This way, I'm recording my desktop audio separately from my Discord audio, separately from my microphone audio. So what I'd recommend you do here is you uncheck all of these except for a free track. This way, when you actually get to recording, you can record, say, your desktop audio in whole, just in case this game audio capture doesn't work, your microphone separately, and then, of course, the game capture itself. This way, if the game capture plugin doesn't hook properly into the game you're playing, instead of losing all of the progress you had, you'll instead just have to use your combined audio from your system instead of not being able to have any sound at all. I'd highly recommend you do this if you're gonna be using this plugin, especially in the early days. In order to actually get this to work, head into settings, then to output, change the mode to advanced, and head into the recording tab. In here, you're able to choose how many audio tracks you want to record. And as you can see, I have two, three, and four checked. If I go ahead and check number five as well, which is currently what the game audio is set to, then I were to start recording, you'll see that the game audio is recorded separately to these other tracks here. I'll give you a quick example. If I simply open up Premiere Pro, open up a new project here. If I open my recordings folder over here and import a video that I recorded previously into say Premiere Pro, you can see I've got three audio tracks here. If I zoom in further on on this actual video itself, you can see in the bottom track, I have myself speaking. In the top track over here, I have the game sound, which corresponds to whatever is happening on the screen. And right below this, I have Discord audio, which is other people speaking to me in, say, Discord, or of course, whatever else I have going out. Usually, this channel over here, I don't only have my Discord audio going to, but I also have, say, Spotify going to as well. This could be something I use to listen to music while I'm, in fact, talking to friends, playing games, recording, etc., etc. But anyways, I'm going to leave this video here. You understand completely how this plugin works now, how to install it, how to use it, and some of the unfortunate caveats, at least for now, while this is a brand new plugin. I'd highly recommend you keep up with this page over here. And of course, in the future, there may be other plugins that come out that do similar things. The final note that I do need to mention is mentioned here as well. Warning, 
I am not able to guarantee that using this is anti-cheat safe. However, similar hook methods are employed in many widely deployed applications, Discord, Steam Overlay, RTSS, Nvidia Shadow Play, etc, etc. While this is technically most likely safe from anti-cheats, there is always a chance that, say, even having a web browser open with the wrong tab open could get you banned from an anti-cheat if the title of it says something bad or naughty banned by the game itself, such as cheating. While that's a very extreme example, it is an example of how overreaching anti-cheats can be. So do be careful what programs you hook onto while you're recording using this. If you want to be incredibly safe, you could do something like me and have multiple outputs where you record separate applications, such as say TeamSpeak into a separate channel while having your game audio go to a virtual audio cable or something like that, which we're pretty much used to. I really doubt that this would get you banned from any anti-cheat, though of course it is always a possibility. Be very careful if you're playing on an account that's valued quite a lot, or of course a game that you would really like to not get banned from, it's still very early in development. Also, another side note, I really don't doubt that this plugin is going to be built into OBS Studio at some stage in the future, though of course that could be a very long while from now. It already has very good hooking compatibility with basically every anti-cheat. Basically every anti-cheat understands what OBS is and probably has it whitelisted to some extent. If this is ever built into OBS itself, it'll of course be whitelisted in whatever anti-cheat applications there are, allowing you to play and record practically any game, though we're currently not there yet. Anyways, huge rant aside, that's the end of this video. If you'd like any more information on recording two separate tracks so that you can edit them better later, do check the description down below for multiple other OBS videos I've done, as some of them might also catch your eye too. I really hope you found this video helpful. My name's been Techno here for Troubleshoot, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao!